Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com. In this video, I'm going to show you the eight best online jobs for college students in 2017 so that you can find work that fits your schedule when you don't have a whole lot of extra time and still make pretty decent money. All you're going to need basically is a computer and some internet. Um, I'm also going to show you where to go to find these jobs multiple places for each one and also just some overall places that you can find additional work and research for how much you can expect to make and uh, how to build your own website if needed things like that so first before I get into the jobs I want to uh, recommend a few places for you if you want to research a job and what it entails you also want to see uh, reviews of employers or you want to research the salaries of a position I recommend glassdoor.com and that will help you with all that stuff it's great for researching the average salary in your area um, finding reviews of companies that you might think about working for and things like that as far as just finding jobs in general, you might try something like Indeed.com or Monster.com, which I'm sure you've heard of. And if you need to start a website in, in case you want to be a freelancer or you want to go for more of an entrepreneurship route, I recommend this article that I did for you. It's called How to Start a WordPress Blog and Three Steps on Bluehost Hosting. Um, this is how you can start a professional blog on one of the most powerful platforms ever built and uh, about 26 percent of the entire internet is built on this platform it's called wordpress and this is how you can set one up for about three or four dollars a month so it's going to look professional give you all of the options for anything you want to do on your website in the future um, so that you can scale up and it won't cost you hardly anything so if you want to go for more of a freelance or entrepreneur route that's gonna help you a lot just having a website like that so getting to the first job I recommend online tutor so if you are already learning all this stuff one thing that you do have as an asset to get a job or to make a side income is tutoring other people on what you know and can explain pretty well so a few websites that allow you to do this one is tutor.com you can sign up here and you can help people with algebra you can help people with history help people with all kinds of different subjects you can view all their subjects here um, you can see testimonials um, you can see kind of what the top tutors look like and what they do but they have millions of people that use this site for tutoring and it's a lot more convenient than trying to go and find someone locally so you can become a tutor by going up here in the top right corner and clicking become a tutor and you can apply there also another site where you can do this is called WizAnt um, and they are a direct competitor to tutor.com but you can do local face-to-face -face tutoring you can do online lessons you can do uh, quick booking but you can sign up to become a tutor up there or apply now here under tutors and read more about it with their F FAQ how it works for tutors and things like that tutoring jobs available so those are two of the best websites for doing this and being a tutor is something that you can do very well because you're constantly having to learn all this information in school anyway so another thing that you can do of course is you could be a search engine evaluator so we all use the internet um, you're in college you're probably doing most of your stuff on the internet and you can actually help search engines like Google Bing and Yahoo for instance make their search engines better by cleaning up a few problems here and there so um, you can't really do this as an entrepreneur or anything and you're not going to find a lot of m normal jobs unlike monster and indeed for this but 
there are a few websites that have jobs like these available and one of them is leapforce.com and you can use them to become an agent you just click become an agent up there you can learn more about it of course you might want to look into your requirements but this will allow you to help search engines clean up their problems and um, help them run more smoothly and you can get paid to do it another one is lion bridge which is at the uh, smartcrowd.com I'll by the way I'll have links to all these pages for you you don't have to remember all of them but that's another one um, very flexible both of these are as far as your work hours of course you're working from home with your computer and um, they typically have year-round opportunities for jobs so this will really be something that um, can be pretty easy that you can just kind of help search engines out and of course search engines are so big that they're always going to have plenty of problems that you can work on number three you can become a freelance writer or an editor so if you're pretty good at writing you're pretty good at grammar and things like that you can become a freelance writer so obviously you can do this uh, on freelance websites like Fiverr and Upwork you can look for writing opportunities on sites like indeed and monster.com um, you can write your own blog using a WordPress blog and um, make money off advertisements and your own product sales and things like that or you can go and find some jobs on some other places so uh, one thing you can do, you can do freelance writing um, and find jobs at problogger.com and they have an actual jobs section and it's only for blogging and writing. So copywriting, blogging, article writing, that's basically all of these jobs. So it's a lot more specific than say trying to go through all the results in Monster or Indeed and their websites. So I recommend this if you want to be a writer. This is a great page. I'll have a link to it for you. Also, another place where you can find a lot of opportunities is on makealivingwriting.com. She has a lot of great blog posts that will help you, but this one in particular will tell you the websites around the web that pay you $50 or more per article that you write for them. So you have some in the business and finance categories. You have essays, family and parenting, health, lifestyle. Um, so these sites pay you 50 plus dollars per article that you do for them so you could be like a freelance guest writer and do something like that number four you could be a social media manager so of course you can find jobs like this in your traditional job websites um, they typically make pretty good money if you research them on Glassdoor they're gonna be one of the highest paid out of the ones on this list because social media marketing has expanded so much you can create your own freelance site maybe offer your services on your own website which of course this will teach you how to set up one uh, you can do it on freelance sites like Upwork, Fiverr and uh, sites like that I'm going to show you a few things that you're going to want to know but um, if you go to Alexa.com then you can research the top websites and if you go to the top 500 sites on the web I'll have a link to this page for you I would recommend going down the first 10 pages or so and getting very experienced with the highest um, used social media platforms first so if you want to do this if you feel like you're good at social media but you want to brush up on your skills a little bit start with YouTube some people consider YouTube social media so you could start with YouTube number two site in the world then go to Facebook get good with Facebook of course um, you're gonna wanna be good with the biggest ones that are used the most to get the best clients and really stand out and be able to provide the services that they want then you can of course work your way down to some of the new platforms like snapchat horoscope and things like that but I recommend you go to alexa.com look at the top social media sites down the list in terms of traffic and go with those first so I would start with YouTube Facebook then you can work your way to say reddit 
which you could consider social media, I guess. Uh, Twitter, of course, and then just kind of go down the list. There's uh, many pages you can go on, but Instagram is right there at number 18 in terms of traffic. LinkedIn at number 25. So that kind of shows you a good order to go in to master social media platforms. As far as tools, you might want to look at this page on jeffbolus.com, one of the better social media marketing blogs out there. Um, it's called the 17 best social media management tools. So Hootsuite will save you a lot of time. It'll be it'll make it to where you can put all your personal messages for your clients in one place and answer them. You can put your news feeds in one place from the different platforms in one page and go through those. You can also schedule and automate uh, your posts. Uh, you also have Agora Pulse. Um, Social Oomph allows you to basically mass upload tweets and things like that and publish them on autopilot. Bitly is great for helping you track your clicks. So they have all kinds of analytics and automation type of platforms on here that will really help with your social media management. Number five, a PowerPoint presentation designer. So that you may not think PowerPoints are a huge deal anymore, but they actually are, and they are used for all kinds of different presentations. They're used for YouTube videos, as you can kind of see right now. Um, they're used for presentations at meetings. They're used for TED Talks. If you ever watched a TED Talk on YouTube, um, they have PowerPoints in the background just to kind of illustrate what they're talking about. Many businesses and uh, professionals use these so that you can kind of stay organized and show people visuals and help them take notes better so that they can learn better what the point is you're trying to get across. So you can design these presentations for people because many of them are not artistic and do not have time to do this. Um, you might go for more of a overall graphic designer if you want to look this up in traditional job sites. You may want to have your own website for doing this, or um, I'll show you a few tools that you can use as well. Of course, you can do this on freelance sites like Fiverr, Upwork, etc. Um, those are great places to offer any kind of graphic design type of work. Um, as far as tools to use, I recommend Vizme, um, vizme.co. So you go to www.vizme.co and I'll have a link to this page for you, but this is one of the best platforms I've seen for just creating professional infographics and presentations like PowerPoints using templates and all kinds of customization using a drag and drop platform. So definitely recommend Vizme if you want to have kind of something to work with without having to you know build everything from scratch with like Photoshop or something. Also, um, you can use PowerPoint for free if you use Google Slides, which is part of the overall Google Drive platform. It's basically a free version of Microsoft Office, and all you need to do is have a Gmail account, and you'll get about, uh, I think it's 15, gigabytes of free storage and you're able to use Google Slides which is their PowerPoint presentation, um, Google Docs which is like Microsoft Word, Google uh, Sheets which is a lot like Microsoft Excel and it's free. So also you want to get your Google Drive set up with your Gmail account and that way you can use Google Slides. Combine that with say Vizme and you have a really good platform for uh, creating nice presentations. Number six, product software and app testing. So constantly entrepreneurs and businesses are coming out with new products, whether they're physical or digital, software, apps, etc. We're always gonna be coming out with things to sell people and they're always gonna need people to test them before they launch. So. Traditional job sites aren't going to have a lot of stuff for these, but there are specific websites you can go to to find these types of jobs. So one is usertesting.com, and 
as you can see, it's very easy. You just go click this green button up here. It says get paid to test in the top right corner. They've worked with Apple, Airbnb, Facebook, Walmart, Home Depot, all these major brands. And you get paid to work on prototypes, uh, apps, websites, all kinds of different products. And that can uh, give you a chance to just give an honest review of these things and get paid to do it. Another thing you can do is user Zoom, which is a competitor of usertesting.com, but they also pay you. You just have to go up there and click join our panel, of course, if you want to use them. And that allows you to test all kinds of websites, apps, and things like that to get paid. Number seven, you can be a data entry worker. So this is probably one of the easiest jobs you can do. Basically, you're taking uh, things and putting them in a spreadsheet or organizing them in some way. And it's, it's probably kind of boring work, but it's something that pays and is needed and can be very flexible in terms of your hours, especially if you're quick at typing, you're very good at um, looking over data, putting it in spreadsheets and things like that, putting it in software and then being done. So the faster you can do things like that, the faster you can have more free time and um, not have to work as many hours. So data entry is a pretty uh, popular thing. It's a pretty broad type of job. So you will be able to find it, find some information, of course, on glassdoor.com, um, look up some jobs on Indeed and Monster. Um, you really don't need to do like freelance with this type of stuff. You could do um, some websites that are very specific towards data entry if you want and try to make money with them. Uh, one of them would be clickworker.com. You can go to clickworker.com and become a, a worker that does data entry and works from home. And another one is Dion Data Solutions which is dionedatasolutions.net and of course I'll have links to all these pages for you but they also have uh, ways for you to do different types of work as well in data entry. I would say um, Click Worker is the best one to go with first and uh, are probably the most established with the most work. But last but not least number eight is Amazon. You can make money with Amazon working from home, doing pretty easy uh, routine type of tasks, just helping them um, and their sub companies make their platforms better with something called Amazon Mechanical Turk, which basically is a bunch of odd jobs and things like that. Um, you know, looking at broken links, finding uh, issues with different pages, uh, fixing errors, all kinds of stuff like that on Amazon and their different websites. And of course you get paid to do it and you get to work your own hours. They show you all kinds of jobs available um, at the moment. You can look here and uh, they have all kinds of different things that you can do. but. They also have a qualifications part that you can look at, of course, what you need to be able to do. But you really don't have to have much experience or anything like that to do this. All you have to do is um, get started, click that button there, and get started as a Mechanical Turk worker. And they have hundreds of thousands of small jobs available all the time. You can view them, of course, at the HIT uh, page and get started on different jobs and get paid. So you're basically just helping Amazon out with their um, routine problems and things on their websites and things like that. So if you got something from this video, if you feel like you learned something of value, please like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you. Um, if you want to mention some other ways that you could make money as a college student online of course without having to um, have too much of a time commitment uh, let me know or in the comments or if you want to just let me know what you thought about the video in general let me know in the comments of what you thought 
I'm always looking for feedback to improve these videos. I'm always looking to expand on the topic. So whatever you want to say is welcome. And also I'll have all of the links to these pages, all the resources, uh, show notes, and related content to this video on one page at selfmadesuccess.com. You can go to my website for that, or I'll have a link to that page in the video description for your convenience. So other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something that can really help you, and I hope you have a great day.